congratulations. The new tiger habitat looks wonderful. And the number of animal escapes are way down. Excellent work. I do find that customers are so much happier when they're not running away from an apex predator. Plus, they're more likely to buy things. And isn't that what zoos are all about? Oh, and guess what? I found those bears I was talking about. All right, hey guys, Max of the Queen here, and welcome back to some more Planet Zoo. So I have been uh, doing a little bit of work off screen, not too much, just a little bit. Um, I basically sped up through half the game because I was placing a lot of shops and stuff down. I did a lot of research, and I got some new um, some new things for. The Bingo Tiger, of course. I got some new shops to put down for the people as well. So that's why we talked to that guy at the first of the episode because we finally achieved gold. We're, we're working on the gold now. Uh, we finished everything here. I got the yearly shop profit of 13,000. So we're moving on from there. And now we will be going to the gold area. So we have to power everything in the zoo with renewable energy. For 12 months uh, and then we have to house four different species in a single habitat increase the overall welfare to 80 percent adopt and place two himalayan brown bears adopt and place the rescue animals found in the rewards section and there will be they will be made available these will be made available every few months and the yearly sh yearly shop profit of 15,000, which should continue to go up uh, but we have to have renewable energy for 12 months so I'm guessing that would be wind turbine maybe um because that would be renewable energy right I'm guessing I'm guessing we should probably see where all of our power supplies are right now. I guess these are all the things that need power. We need to find all of our power supplies. Uh, here's all the buildings. I guess it would be these, right? So this little power supply here. We want to switch that out with a wind turbine, I'm guessing. Uh, because this is a transformer and we want to switch it with a, a wind turbine huh I think that's what it's talking about so we would put this there right if I'm getting that correct um, Power everything in the zoo with renewable energy for 12 months. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll start here. I will get rid of this transformer and put the wind turbine in here. I think that's how it'll work. Maybe. Okay, so there's that. Now we need to see... Um, what is supplying power? So why are, why are these without power? I'm confused. Did the wind turbine not do it or? Um, hello? Shop has to be, have power to be used. I know it does. But this is power, right? This, this should be powering it? it not oh I'm guessing it has a smaller range maybe 
could be. Could have a smaller range, so that could be a problem. Um, okay, so I want to first take all of the powered up things and make them wind turbines. And then we will worry about everything else. So let's go to the power wind turbine thing here. And uh, let's get rid of this. Put this in here like so. There we go. Um, oh crap, actually no, we have to put it out here, right? Yeah, we have to put it out here because it has to use the wind, obviously, to work, duh. Alright, so there's that one, um, and then here is one, we'll delete this one. Place the wind turbine here. Okay, there's that one. Um, okay, we have another one here. We're gonna need to replace this one as well. We're going all natural. We don't need these machines anymore. We're going wind machines now. think. Am I doing that right? Come on. There we go. Right? There. Okay, so we got that. 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 Uh, oof. This place is, this place is out of power now. Um... This transformer, we need to get rid of this one. And we'll put the wind turbine in there as well. Okay. Uh, now let's go through here. Check all of our power sources. So we have a few more that we need to do, apparently. Because apparently now we don't have power. Everything is running on wind and uh, not working too well. Oh, here's one. I missed this one. Let's uh, put a wind turbine in here as well. Okay. We've just got some ring-tailed lemurs which were... I'm gonna let him go Let's ahead and talk. I'm not gonna turn it down this time, yeah. uh, because I'm I'm kind of in the middle of something. So he's just letting us know that there has been some ring-tailed lemurs who have been have all been delivered. Okay, so we have we have to see here. Oh, well. All right, here's our power sources. So far, uh, we need to add some more turbines because not everything is powered by the wind turbines so far. A few things are not going to be working. We're going to have to definitely, definitely add a lot more. Oh boy, okay. I'd say... Here we'll have to add one. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Like I have to put it, I have to put them pretty much everywhere because pretty much everything isn't powered. So we'll put them, we'll put them out first. Uh, I'll move that one.
That way we can power everything. And then once we get everything powered... Uh, is that good? I think that's good. I think everything's pretty much powered up now. This is really confusing because, like, it's got all these other things that are red. Um, so does that mean that I need to do every little tiny bit? I guess it does. Like, uh. all right, we're just gonna have to put wind turbines around everywhere. Um, oh, it's working. It's working. Okay, all I have to do is put the wind turbines around everywhere so that they're powering everything on, and then do that for 12 months. All right, now we got that going. Um, obviously, once we complete that, I'm seriously not going to bother. Um, I'm not going to bother with the wind turbines anymore. I'll just delete them and get rid of them once it goes through 12 months. But we need to house four different species in a single habitat. So I don't know what that exactly means. Um, but we have some stuff here in the rewards. So we have ring-tailed lemurs and we have some Himalayan bears. We have a lot of things here. A lot of things. I'm gonna have to pretty much think a bit about this because I, I don't know exactly... I don't know exactly... What I'm going to do as far as basics is concerned because I don't know I don't know who can be housed where like you have to do all the research and stuff see who can be housed in the same habitats together um so I'm not really sure on that I think the bears we can put here Possibly? Maybe? I, I really don't know. I don't think anything can be housed with the bears. I don't know what all this is here. But cool, there's some stuff over there. Um, but I've got to house some animals together. Can we put the rhinos? And the gazelles together. That's the question. I'm really hoping all these wind turbine turbines don't break. Because we have to do this for 12 months. And it's only month one. So it's going to be a long time and I really want them all to stay working. But they're probably not going to. Because they're all like inaccessible. Which is not good. <sighs> okay. So, let's just see, uh, Indian rhinoceroses, who can be housed with them? None. Great. Great. Okay. Um... Well, I guess we could see who can be housed with the ring-tailed lemurs. The red ruffled lemurs. Okay, well, great. <laughs> I don't think anything can be with the Himalayan bears, but I guess I'll check. No, okay. Well, great. That's great. I think what I'll do first is I'll put the bears in. Let's put them up here. They've got some area up here that obviously they want you to build with. 
So let's just build a bear habitat here. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try my hardest to figure out how to do something. Once I get an exhibit built, then I will worry about um, everything else. Okay, so we have this here. Um, some glass right here and then we'll edit the whole entire barrier and make the whole thing taller because I don't want the bears to escape. We'll put a gate in here and uh, I guess we'll just place the bears in. Oh this looks so bad. I want to apologize ahead of time you guys. For how terrible I am at making exhibits. Like, I... I don't know why it's so bad. I don't know why I do such a bad job with it. I really don't. So we're gonna need to place the lemurs. Yeah, we're going to need to place the lemurs, and that'll be all five. Uh, so let's put them over here. At this point, I'm kind of just like... Let me find any type of little space that I can, and let me build something. The only problem with the lemurs is, I know that they're going to escape. Which is going to be bad. Um, so I need something that is not climbable. I don't want the lemurs escaping on me. And I'm gonna make it tall too. I don't want them to escape. I've already had to worry about uh, fixing the other exhibits. The bard's tapiars kept escaping and their fence actually broke so I was like you know what here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this fencing a little bit better. And I'm going to give them glass instead of that electric fence or whatever they had. They had some type of weird electric fence type thing. I don't know. I, it was weird. I just changed it. Okay, so now let us place the ring-tailed lemurs here into the, into the zoo. Um... And we'll have to we'll have to fix up this this guy these guys habitat of course. Uh, so they need less sand, more snow, of course. Oh my gosh, you guys can have all the snow that you want. Like snow is amazing. You can have as much snow as you want. Okay, they want a ton of snow. Less rock. Less rock. More soil. A couple of more pet rescues for you. Nile monsters. They're wanting snow, but they can't have snow. This is literally the reptiles I find um, relatable. This is literally like the him the like the Indian area. Like, what are you talking about? There can't be any snow here. It's too warm. It's too warm for snow. What are you talking about? Uh, and now, oh, we need to put some shelters in as well. One for a bear. There we go. Why did that why did that shelter not 
Huh. Okay. Guess they didn't like that shelter. That one's way too big. I hope that's not going to end up causing trouble. It probably will. <laughs> it probably will, but let's just hope it doesn't. Alright, so now we need to go to Nature, Tundra, and Tygia. Tygia, and... Tundra and then Asia. Okay. Okay, they like this stuff. So we can place this stuff all around in here. As long as they like it, then I'm okay with it. I'm okay with spam placing it around everywhere. As long as they like it. Like I said, not a big fan of making things look pretty. Just like to, you know, increase their overall awareness, oh, wellness, whatever you call it. Enrichment. Oh, we don't have any enrichment. No. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I do. Okay, I do. Put this in here. This. Snowball. How about a large snowball? You guys like snowballs? What about this? There we go. That'll work. Need to put some food and water. Okie dokies. I think we're good there. At least for right now. Oh, and we have more reward animals. Yay! What do we have? A Nile monitor. Okay, so we have some exhibit animals now that we can place in the zoo, which that's cool. I can put that here. Uh, I think it's under facilities. Yeah. Exhibits here. Uh, for these monitors. Let's transfer them and then let's take them and put them here. But I can't put them in. Isn't this an exhibit animal? Confusion. How am I supposed to put them in there? That's confusing. Okay, so we have the Himalayan brown bears. We have four months going strong on the powering with the renewable energy. Um, we also have to place all the rescue items or animals. Um, I've got these two here. but it won't let me place them question mark okay so they they don't okay i was thinking that they go in exhibits but they don't so forget that now we have to figure out where to put these lizard things oh boy i really running out of space you know i think i'm gonna put him here to be honest we're getting rid of all these guys. I, 
These dang peacocks are just literally everywhere. Um, like with the mandrills, I think the peacocks are going to have to go. Look at all of them. I even put contraceptives on a ton of them as well. And they're still here. Like a ton of them. They just, they don't stop producing. Just don't stop. But we gotta get rid of them because we're moving on. We're moving on to bigger and better things. Uh, two left. Okay, these guys here are diseased. That's why we can't get rid of them. So once they get better, then we'll get rid of them. So we're gonna call the, the vet for these two and see what we can do about that and then i need to house four different species so yeesh yeah we'll, we'll skip you guys nothing can do nothing can live with a garl nothing can live with the lemurs besides the, the other lemurs um, nothing can live with the tigers. Can the tapirs have anything live with them? Nope. It says. Enhanced by sharing with these animals, but I don't see the animals. Oh, what? Oh no. They're dying. They're dying of old age. This is not good. Okay, well, um... That's a thing now. Looks like I got a lot to do. Because... Oh, I forgot to take care of the lemurs. So I'm gonna need to figure this out. Okay, so we're almost done. We're almost done. Um, we have a few more things left to do, which I'll be doing a lot of them off screen, or trying at least. Uh, so we have to house four different species in a single habitat. I'll have to figure that out. We are six months into our 12 months of renewable energy, and then we're gonna have to uh, put those monster, whatever they're called, those little lizards out. We'll put those in there. Um, but right now I have to, I have to put some food and water for these lemurs before they literally die. And some shelter of course and just get them get them looking nice and healthy of course we'll need to put some enrichment items oh gotta buy the dlc for that apparently and let's do that there Uh, this animal needs more shortcuts. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a lot more of this stuff off screen um, because apparently there's a lot more that I need to do that I wasn't aware of that I needed to do. But yeah, got a lot of stuff that I need to do. So. We'll be continuing on in the next episode, and we will complete this series. I'm really excited. We're going to get this completed, I think, in the next episode. This will probably be a first for me. To have completed a scenario in three parts. Literally, the first part we did bronze. second part we did silver. And the third part we can do gold. Uh, if this is the third part. I can't remember how many parts it's been so far. Uh, but yeah. 
looks like that's what we're going to be doing next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. And then I will see you guys in the next one where hopefully we'll be able to finish up this scenario and get another one completed. So I will see you guys in the next episode.